What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slime Quest TV. We got some more tips coming up for you today. We're going to be talking auto chart live and how to record those lakes and rivers that aren't charted. And uh, it's really simple guys. We're going to have the drone up, going to show you how we're doing this overhead. Going to have a camera on the actual sonar here to show you what's going on. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get that started right now. So stick with us. You're not going to want to miss this. Lots of learning going on this week on Slime Quest TV. All right, guys, now that we're on the body of water that we want to record, we have the zero lines card right here for the auto chart live. This will record more information than your unit will. The unit itself comes with eight hours of record time, and that's plenty to, to record bodies of water and stuff you want to fish that day. If you want more information, you're going to need the zero lines card right here, and we're going to go ahead and stick that in the unit just like that right there. Once we have that in the unit, actually just gonna exit out of there. I don't wanna put any previous data on there. Um, so all we're gonna do guys, to get this auto chart live recorded, we wanna go to a full screen of, of uh, GPS and we're gonna hit the menu button once. And you're gonna see right here, auto chart. We're gonna scroll down using the keypad to auto chart, hit the right arrow over. We have right here guys, here we go, we have a plane flying over. Let me just let that go by. Big ass jet. All right guys, now that that jet interrupted us, we're actually got the auto chart record right here. We're actually gonna switch this to on right here. And you're recording right now guys. You could already, just exit out of there, you could already see the map colors popping up right here and we're gonna go ahead, oh, we're gonna go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. Zoom out just a little bit, and we're gonna start making diagonals up and down this uh, piece of water right here, guys. I'm gonna get the drone up in the air so you can see what I'm doing overhead, and we're gonna get this party started. Drone is in the air. We're gonna go ahead and start making a good grid pattern on this body of water right here. And you can do up to about, you know, four or five miles an hour with it getting pretty accurate. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this right here, just like this. And you can see it, it's starting to make some contour lines here. Right, guys now that you've done a nice grid pattern back and forth we're gonna go back across it up and down like this to get the exact perfect contours after we've made a nice grid pattern and we see all these nice contours right here you're gonna go ahead hit that menu button again once scroll down to auto chart and just hit the recording to the left off all right guys now we've recorded all these contours you've seen overhead you've seen right here on the graph that's exactly what you want to do to get the best recordings of the contours in your lakes that aren't mapped and uh, you can map any body of water you want to even if it shows land on your unit here it is hummingbird unit helix unit you could record anything if it's on land water you can record anything as long as you're getting bottom contact and getting a good reading on your depth you can go ahead and record uh, so that's really as easy as it is guys. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into this unit in the auto chart live options and I'm gonna show you guys a few different things on uh, things you can change, make this map pop a little bit better, you know, transparencies. You can have this overlay over a auto chart map that are a, a different, like a Lake Master map you've already had. And it's got a bottom hardness, vegetation, and uh, we're gonna show you all that right here, right now. And that's all there is to it, guys. All right, guys. Now we've recorded all these contours. You've seen overhead, you've seen right here on the graph. That's exactly what you wanna to do to get the best recordings of the contours in your lakes that aren't mapped. And uh, you can map any body of water you want to, even if it shows land on your 
unit here it is hummingbird unit helix unit you could record anything if it's on land water you can record anything as long as you're getting bottom contact and getting a good reading on your depth you can go ahead and record uh, so that's really as easy as it is guys now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into this unit and the auto chart live options and I'm gonna show you guys a few different things on uh, things you can change make this map pop a little bit better you know transparencies you could have this overlay over a uh, auto chart map that are a, a different like a lake master map you've already had and it's got a bottom hardness vegetation and uh, we're gonna show you all that right here right now All right guys, now that you got the recording turned off and you got all your lines already done, we're gonna show you guys a little bit about what you can do in these options. And now, as you guys see, I'm, I'm mapping some really uh, really shallow water. We got the deepest water right here is about eight foot and there's a little pocket right here. We're going ahead, hit that menu button once, go to auto chart once again, and we're gonna go down here to auto chart options. Now. You can set your max range, guys. This is gonna give you the best colors for whatever range you're fishing and mapping. Now, since I'm only going to about eight feet, I'm gonna drop this down to, to 10 feet. And you can see this map back behind here, it's already coming with a bunch more colors, gonna show you a lot more contours, guys. 10 feet. Now look how much different this map looks. You can see the, the dark blue is the deepest water and this brown and the lighter color is the actual shallowest water. So you can actually see the river channel coming through here and then it drops into a deep hole right here and it's got a shallow flat behind it. And this is gonna be a, a beautiful spot, but you can see just how by changing those max depth colors that you, know, you could uh, change that and make that map pop that much better. Now the other thing I'm gonna do here, guys, is again, go in that auto chart, go back down to auto chart options, and we can change the color palettes if you want. I like color palette number three, but it's got a one, which I don't really like. Two is okay. You can see this a little bit better too with this dark, with a really, really dark blue um a little bit different i'm a firm believer in number three we're gonna go ahead go back in the options and go on color palette number three but we're gonna go over a couple more of these options so you want your contour lines visible now contour intervals this comes stock guys on three foot now this is going to make a huge difference guys we want to change this down to one foot now you can see how much different you can see all the contour lines of this exact spot here look at this look at all these contour lines guys that we got now that we changed that from three foot to one foot um now another thing guys if you guys aren't seeing a lot of these options i want you guys to go in to your setup menu you just hit the menu button twice scroll the arrow over to the right to user mode and you want to change this to custom It'll come stock on Angler. It's limit, limiting you guys on a lot of features. I want you to go ahead and switch that over to custom. It's gonna give you the best setup and that's how you're gonna get all these contour lines like this right here. This already looks so great. Now, some other things we can talk about guys is the auto chart transparency. So if you guys is the auto chart transparency so if you guys are actually, you know, recording a small section of lake that you just want better detail on than your Lake Master uh, map card, you can go ahead and click up here on Auto Chart Transparency, and you could have that. If you bring that to about 50, it's going to overlay your map before. So you're going you're gonna to see the auto chart, but you're going to see the map underneath the auto chart as well. So that's something you guys can play around with is the auto chart transparency. Now, 
I like to leave mine off. I pretty much auto chart everything I fish. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the bottom layer. And the bottom layer from the factory comes on hidden. And I don't like to have this recorded all the time um, overlaying my map. I only want to see it when I'm looking for rocks or looking for weeds. So the thing we're going to do is just scroll down here to bottom layer, hit the arrow to the right, make it visible. And this is bottom type. We're looking for vegetation. I'm going to back off right here. And you can see there's vegetation on the bottom right here leading into this deep hole. That is going to be an awesome spot, guys. And there's also some vegetation on the top side of that hole. These are going to be key spots you're looking for, guys, is because there's vegetation. Fish always relate to vegetation, and that's why Auto Chart Live is just so great. So we're going to actually, when we come back and fish this, we're going to anchor up right on the side of this vegetation, of course, right? Or we're going to anchor up right on the top of this vegetation right here. I guarantee that the bait fish at night when these flatheads and other fish are active, are going to be the bait fish are going to be hiding in this vegetation because they feel safe in the vegetation and the fish know that and the fish are going to be there and that's why we're anchoring and why we use this option on auto chart live guys and your hummingbird helix units now the next thing is i know this is getting a little bit repetitive but i'm gonna go back down to bottom type i'm gonna change this to hardness if you guys are looking for different types of bottom hardness rock now the harder bottom is going to be dark blue. The soft bottom is going to be a lighter color. So this is very soft bottom. This is very hard bottom. It gives you a little reference right here. You can see this is all pretty hard bottom. Now, you can see some darker blue right here. I don't know how good you can see that on camera. Let me see. You can see that a little bit on camera. Um, but there's the hardest bottom is right here in this deepest water. And just like anything, you know, a lot of times the shallow water is harder bottom in certain places, but right here, the lighter blue is goes in shades, lighter, medium, dark. This river channel is actually the hardest bottom. So that's just one thing you can do, guys, and look for different bottom hardnesses because fish love hard bottom, soft bottom transitions. Everybody knows it, and this is oh, this allows you by recording, you don't just get one foot contours, guys. You get one foot contours you get bottom hardness and vegetation so it's really cool guys all right guys that is really all there is to it with the auto chart live we recorded you've seen an overhead view of how we did a grid pattern on the lake here and uh and on the and on the actual gps unit you know auto chart live guys is really simple now stick to you know stay tuned guys subscribe right now you're not going to want to miss this next video if you guys have the auto chart live pro pc program i'm going to show you guys how to upload this information on the auto chart live pc program look at it in 3d mosaics guys the 3d mosaics is freaking crazy just wait till you guys see this and uh you know stay tuned subscribe guys give the video a like if i'm helping you guys out and you guys dig what i'm doing here please give it a like comment down below if there's other stuff that you guys want to know about just you know just comment down below I'm down for making videos on whatever you guys want to know. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Slime Quest TV out.